Last year, a school in Los Angeles was making their annual trustee dinner in the Herzog Winery in Oxnard, which is around an hour drive from LA. They flew in this incredibly talented violinist, Shimmy Weitzhandler, all the way from Israel to play at the event and entertain the guests. After we landed, my friend came to pick me up from the airport and I put the violin and my stuff in a trunk and we went to his house. When they got to the house, Shimmy took out a suitcase to unpack, but left his violin in the trunk, knowing that he'll need it once they get to the winery. And I went to change to get prepared for the event. A couple hours later, they drove up to Oxnard. They got to the winery a few minutes before the event was scheduled to start. Shimmy got out of the car, opened the trunk, and was in for the shock of his life. I'm opening the trunk to take the violin. I don't see it there. And I'm moving away some stuff. Maybe it's underneath and it's not there. His violin was missing. It turns out that his host picked him up from the airport with his wife's car, drove him to his house, and then took his own car to drive him up to the winery. They didn't have there is two cars, because, you know, in Ancestral there is no two cars. You have a car and your wife has a car. In LA, I guess it's olive base. To make matters worse, his host was the only one who had his wife's car keys on him, which meant that he would have to drive back to LA, open the trunk, get the violin, and bring it up to the winery. And by that time, the event would pretty much be over. I felt devastated, I felt crazy. I mean, what am I gonna do? And there's no escape, there's no way out. What am I gonna say to the people who hired me? He was the star guest of the evening. His name was in large letters on every invitation. People were looking forward to hearing him play. And I thought to myself, that's it, you're, you're done. You, you can quit. Nobody's gonna hire me again. Nobody's gonna look at me again. He flew back to Israel feeling like his career had just come to an end. A year later, Shimi was in Israel back home, eating dinner with his wife, when he received the call. He looked at the number and he recognized it as being the number of the administrator who hired him the year before for the event in LA. I say to myself, what's he up to? Maybe he wants to charge me the expenses? And then he says, we're, we're making a second dinner. And I said, can I come? I want to come for any price, for any, anything. I want to come, I want to be there, just to fix things, things up. He said, yeah, that's why I'm calling you. The administrator told him that even though he made a mistake and messed up the year before, they know that he's got a talent, he's gifted. They want him to come back and play the violin at this year's event. I went to the dinner and I just sat there and watched Jimmy play incredibly well. I was so happy. I mean, the adrenaline I had that moment, my heart was pumping. As I was watching Shimmy play, I remember thinking to myself, this is the story of our own lives. We're all flown in from Shemayim into this world, and Hashem gives us an instrument, a talent, or a strength, and says, go play your own unique music. Become a part of the greater symphony of life. But as time goes by, we forget about it. We get caught up in the pressures and challenges of everyday life. And deep down, we feel terrible, we feel guilty. We beat ourselves up for it. We just want to get back on track and have that opportunity to make things right. Every year, this time, Hashem calls us up and invites us back again and lets us know that He believes in us, He believes in our ability to become great and gives us a second chance. Hashem flies us from a faraway place right beneath His throne. He graces us with the talent or strength of our very own. He says, go and fill your purpose in the life that you lead. I have given you whatever you may need. Life unfolds and we often get lost in what's most mundane And cast aside are the meaningful goals that we don't attain Until that moment of reflection When the truth becomes clear Can it be that we've forgotten why we're here? But Hashem still knows the power lies in Don't remember Every day we get to mend the days behind us And we're invited back again
again I'm calling from Hashem for a second chance Although at times we can make mistakes we must not give up For Hashem recalls that we have what it takes and believes in us And with patience He awaits us to try with all our might And prove to Him we still can get it right Oh, Hashem still knows the power lies inside us Even when we don't remember Every day we get to make Over the next few days, let's embrace the opportunity Hashem gives all of us for a second chance and make a commitment to never stop trying to play your own unique music in the symphony of life. <laughs>